Oh, hi everyone. How's it going? So, a lot of people have asked me, can you farm Edge Master's handguards? In fact, this is a question I get pretty much every day from random people on the street. So, the simple answer is unfortunately no. But nevertheless, you can try to farm them if you want to. So firstly, how do you do it? Well, you need to kill mobs between the levels of 45 to 50. There may be one or two outliers, so you might get the occasional drop from level 51, but broadly speaking, that's the sort of level range you should be looking for. Now, how long does it take? Oh, if you were to kill four mobs a minute, I've worked out that the chances of them dropping well, are still virtually zero. <laughs> They're 0 0.01, but that equals about 42 hours of farming. Yeah, to repeat that, 42 hours of farming. And that's if you can keep up four mobs a minute, which is kind of difficult when you've got to run between different mobs. So, again, to reiterate the point, you can't really farm this. This is a well drop, and you'd be far better off farming gold and then buying these items off the auction house. And at the moment they're going for about 3,000 to 5,000 on the server, but if you keep an eye out you might be able to get them more cheaply. Now if you do want to try farming these, the best places to farm seem to be the Sunken Temple and Black Rock Dep. In that order, um, there's also Maradon if you want to try that area, and I'm currently in Felwood, which, again, has fairly decent drop rates, uh, as long as you're willing to spend 42 hours farming. But still, nevertheless, if you want these gloves, then, like I say, you need to really get the money together yourself and just buy them off the auction house, because, honestly, even if you spent 42 hours farming, there's no guarantee you're going to get a pair. But these satyrs aren't a total loss. They drop fell cloth, which sells about three or four gold each. So you can still farm these guys if you want to, but just don't expect to get the gauntlets. Now, seeing as how I'm in Fellwood, any mobs really in the south of Fellwood are perfect for having an, op have an opportunity to get these gloves. So there's also the sweet cuddly bears, which are um, sort of down south a little bit more. Even though I haven't seen them drop at all, the slimes would hypothetically drop them. Though, to be honest, around this area, humanoids seem to be your best bet. Anyway, you may wonder if it's almost impossible to get these things, why am I even trying? Well, I like a challenge, and the thing is with endgame World of Warcraft, you kind of need to make your own fun, I guess. So, anyway, that's my take on this, guys. And one thing I should also point out is Maradon and um, Black Rock Dep and Tunkan Temple seem to have a slightly higher drop rate, right? And I think this is because the mobs are elite. And the drop rate doesn't go up very much at all. But nevertheless, if you do really want to get these, then doing a few Tunkan Temple runs might be your best bet. So roughly speaking, um, a Sunken Temple run takes about two hours. It actually takes a, a pretty darn long time, and you can have between five and ten players in in the instance there. So you could do a few runs in Sunken Temple and see if anything crops up. But yeah, hope that answers the question. Can you farm Edge Master's handguards? The answer is basically no, unless you're really dedicated or really crazy. <laughs> Alright, please like and subscribe if you like the video guys, and I'll speak to you soon.